This is the Dangbei Atom. It's a brand new projector that comes in at $899. It's Dangbei's latest projector and it's their first Google TV projector in their projector lineup. Let's go ahead and take a look at the design and the key specifications and let's see how this performs. Now you can see this is pretty compact. In the box, you get the projector itself, you get the remote control and the power adapter with the user manual. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the key specifications. But you can see this is very compact, very portable, and it's kind of a slim design as well. So it's very easy for you to take with you. Now this is 1200 ISO lumens. In translation, this is equivalent to 1500 ANSI lumens, and it achieves that brightness by using ALPD laser and not LED, which I think is great. And it's going to be really useful to use something like this, especially when you have a lot of daylight coming into the room. Now this is 1080p native, and it does go up to 180 inch for the maximum projection size. We are also going to be testing out the noise levels on this because it is quite compact and it's going to be very quiet. Now the remote control is pretty standard. You can see it has a Google Assistant voice control button just there at the top. But one thing you'll notice, it does have a Netflix button because this does have a native Netflix app that is licensed to the Dangbei Atom, which I think is great. Just on the side of the remote, you'll notice there's the volume button and a red switch. The red switch button there can also adjust the focus, which I think is a very nice touch as well. But this does also have autofocus and auto keystone, which is so convenient when you want to get up and running very quickly. So taking a closer look at the design, this actually weighs only 1.3 kilograms, which is super lightweight. So if you want to take this with you in your backpack, it's going to be very easy to do that. You can see it has a depth of field camera just there on the front on the right hand side. This would allow it to do obstacle avoidance when there's something in the way of the screen and it will adjust the screen size to avoid that obstacle. Just on the back of the projector, on the left hand side, you have the power button. Then you also have one HDMI port, one USB port, one auxiliary input, and the power port there just on the bottom right. At the bottom of the projector, you do have a quarter 20 inch thread as well. So you can mount this on a tripod or also ceiling mount this if that's something of your preference. In addition to Dolby audio support, this also has HDR10 and HLG support as well. So you can make sure you get the best audio experience and visual display when you are using this very premium projector. So going through the setup process was very easy. I went through the Google Home setup using my phone and I was able to log into all of my apps using my phone directly through the projector as well. Let's go ahead and test the fan noise because I know that's a big topic for most people. This is so silent that I can barely hear any fan noise. This is less than 24 decibels. So when you are going to be watching content, you're not going to hear any of the interruptions from fan noises whatsoever. So I think that's a very good plus side. Now there's a lot of daylight coming into this room and even then the laser projector itself with 1500 ANSI lumens makes it very decent and visible and it makes it still quite enjoyable to watch all of your content during the day. But of course I will showcase a demo video of showcasing this with daylight and also making it very dark in the room to give you an experience of using this at nighttime when there are no light sources in the room. Okay so before we get into the demo let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings and options. So you can see here, you can change the options for the screensaver. You have the inputs to switch over to HDMI or USB. Go through picture settings. So we'll just take a quick look at that. Right now it's on standard. I do like to enjoy vivid when I am watching this in the daytime. So I will select that. We head over to sound. Likewise, you can change the type of sound mode. So you can go from standard movie, music, sport, or whatever you like. I have left surround sound on and system sound. So when you do navigate around the projector system you do hear those beeps and then you can go into more settings here you can go into projector settings to change the focus the image correction for the keystone you can even go into bluetooth speaker mode so you can use the projector as a standalone bluetooth speaker without it having to project anything so you can connect your phone and play back music directly from this and then you have various system and accessory settings as you would expect with any Android TV based projector. So let's go ahead and play a demo video whilst I have a lot of daylight coming into the room. And then I will make it blackout and then showcase how great this looks if you do watch this at night time.
Okay, so you saw how bright that was, especially when there's a lot of light coming into the room. Everything was still clear. I can definitely watch my content during the daytime using this. Now, this is 1080p native, so you are restricted to watch content at 1080p. If you do check out the Dangbei website, they do have a 4K projector, which is a lot more premium called the Mars Pro, if that's something you like to check out. If you are on more of a budget, this is actually a very good option. And I can't see any faults with this, and it looks as clear as any other standard LED based projector that you do get as native 4K. So let's go ahead and now turn off all of the daylight coming into the room, make it blackout and see how even better this looks. Look how crystal sharp this is. It just makes it seem like it's a native TV. So having a projector that looks as bright as this, the colors are so vibrant. You do have the HDR10 support as well. I think it just is a very great option to have. I can see myself enjoying all of my movies, my TV shows at nighttime from my room using this as my only laser based TV. And this is going to be such a game changer because of the size of the projector and the quality that you do get in conjunction with it. I just think this is the perfect value and Dangbei have done an excellent job with the Atom. Okay, so now let's go ahead and test out the audio. So I'm going to play back a sample video from Dolby Atmos channel and the speakers are actually very loud. So I may not go all the way up to 100% volume, but nonetheless, it's going to showcase how loud and how punchy the audio is and how clear the dialogue is. Now, of course, due to the size of the projector, it doesn't have very high quality bass in there to get very punchy audio. You may need to connect this to an external soundbar if that's something that you would like. But nonetheless, hopefully if you put some headphones in, you get a very good idea of the clarity in the audio. This is Dolby Cinema. It's where the most advanced cinematic technology you've ever experienced begins. This is Dolby Atmos. The number of speakers around you no longer matters because this is the world's first object-based cinematic audio with powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with 10 point accuracy. Whether the soundscape sits the need of the scene, captures the full extent of nature's fury. So there we have it guys. The audio I think is super clear. I can really use this as a standalone speaker as well. And just playing my content with this, I wouldn't have any issues enjoying everything that I'm watching. In conjunction with all of the video quality, the audio quality, I think this is actually a very, very good option for anyone that's looking for a laser based projector that's not just very large and bulky, but also very compact. This pretty much has everything you need it. And on top of that, having a licensed Netflix app, I think is also great. And working off of a Google TV platform and keeping everything in sync with your phone, I think that's just going to be even more valuable than most people realize. So let me know in the comments below. What do you think of the projector? Is this something that you would consider buying? Make sure to check the link in the description to find out all the latest information of the Dangbei Atom. And as always, if you do have any comments or questions about this, drop them down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you all at the next one.